Alright, <clears throat> right, YouTube. Um, back again. I'm gonna show you guys something that um, I wasn't actually gonna post because um, kind of run the risk of having it stop working. But because this is something people keep asking for and a lot of people can't seem to figure out, um, I'm gonna post this video against every bit of better judgment I have and I am going to show you guys how to get this YouTube working on this your PSP uh, a lot of people have a lot of trouble getting YouTube to work especially with the um, 620 and above firmwares but I'm gonna make this as simple as I possibly can for you guys and I'm going to just show you how to do it. Uh, included in the description is everything that you're going to need. So go ahead and download that. And once you download that, uh, just to show you really quick, you do need custom firmware for this to work. And I'm running ME 1.4. Now, uh, download the file. And once you got that downloaded, you're going to want to connect your PSP to your computer. Let's get my PSP open. Alright, so there's my PSP right there. And we have the file that's in the description right over here. Open that up. Now when you open up the file that's in the description, you're going to see just a PSP folder. If you go in there, there's a game and a radio player folder. Just keep it the way it is, and just take this PSP folder, and drag it, ugh, alright, good, All right, let me do that again so it's not, it's not as uh, chopped up, I'm going to want to take this PSP folder, right here, so you can actually see the folder alright you want to take that PSP folder and copy it onto your memory stick so that it says copy to memory stick you don't want to drop it inside a folder copy to memory stick and then you drop that it's gonna say you already have a PSP folder do you want to merge it with this one you go ahead and click yes to that prompt and then it's gonna say oh I already have GoTube on here but <clears throat> Just click this little box down the bottom, do this for all current items found, and click yes. And we're going to do this for the next 16 conflicts as well. And then it will copy uh, GoTube onto your PSP. Now a lot of people have GoTube, a lot of people complain that you can't watch YouTube with it. It is absolutely possible to watch YouTube with it. And by the end of this tutorial, you will be watching YouTube on your PSP. So once that copies successfully, you can go ahead and close your PSP and disconnect from the computer. And then when you go over to your memory stick, I have Game Categories Lite, so everything's going to be in the Uncategorized folder. If you don't have Game Categories Lite, just click on your memory stick and you'll see it. And the guy that we are looking for is this one right here. GoTube 1.2 HMM. Now, <coughs> if you have a PSP Go, I'll include two different files in the description. One for um, slims and, and brights and fats, and then one for the Go. So if you have a Go, make sure you download the Go file and not the regular file. But go ahead and run the, uh, the GoTube program. Try to get this to focus. It doesn't like to focus. Just as soon as you uh, as soon as you start it, it's going to ask for your connection. So connect to your you know your normal connection point, and then this screen will pop up. And this is basically showing you your memory stick. This is the stuff that's on my memory stick. So to get to where we can search for a video on YouTube, press select, 
and this you'll notice up in the top corner that word will change and we want that first word on the left to be YouTube so keep pressing select until the word on the left is YouTube okay and then press circle to enter text to search for um, I'm gonna search for let's search for my YouTube name Alright, that should be enough to get it to come up. Once you enter your text, you uh, you press start. And then it will search YouTube. Did it really not find anything? So apparently I'm going to have to type in my entire name. You've been striked. Okay. Then it will search YouTube and give you a big list of results. These are all my videos. And let's choose one. Here we go. CXMB for 660. You press X on the video. Now it takes a minute to load. There you have it. YouTube. Well, my PSP. Now, what I have found with this, uh, videos that are in high def, like pure high def, like this video right here was recorded in high definition and posted to YouTube in high definition, there'll be like these blue distortion lines over it, and there's no way to fix that, but it's a small price to pay to be able to search and surf and do everything you can normally do on YouTube right here on your PSP. Now, uh, since uh, PSP Tube and all those programs stopped working, uh, I can't. I'll put the guys, the developer's name who created this firmware, this um, homebrew, in the description. But he is a genius the way he does it. Uh, also included in the download is a script updater. So if this ever stops working, you can go into the radio player and run the updater, and it might find a new YouTube script where you'll be able to watch YouTube again. But for now, this script right here works uh, which probably won't be the case pretty shortly because not many people have this they don't really have a working script that hasn't really been um, circulated all that much but there you have it guys I'm sharing because that's what I do and that's how you're gonna watch YouTube on your PSP you press start to pause the video and then start again to start it back up and if you want to search for something else press circle they will take you back to the results, you press circle again, and then you can enter your text. But that's pretty much it. That is how you get YouTube on your PSP. And I apologize to NATO, he's probably going to be pretty upset that I, that I posted this video, but it's for the best, buddy. Uh, yeah, so make sure you like, comment, subscribe, uh, sneaky-codes.tk, or sneakycodes with a z.foramotion.com. If you go to sneaky dash codes and it's not working, it's, I'll put the link in the description. Sneaky codes with a Z dot or uh, sneaky dash media dot com. Number one site for ISOs, games, movies, minis, music, everything. Most of it PSP friendly. So check that out. Sneaky dash media dot com. And that's all for today, guys. Sworn Leader signing out.